Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day. From the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov slash apod. And today's picture for August the 21st of 2019 well, it's titled, The Orion You Can Almost See. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of actually the constellation of Orion. Now, it may not look like that at first glance, but if you look towards the center, you can see the three stars in the belt. So here Orion is kind of lying on its side. The upper portion of Orion to the left and the lower portion of Orion to the right. So we can see the three stars in the belt there. And you can see the Orion Nebula off a little bit uh, to the right of those stars. Now if you have trouble seeing some of those things, you can actually move the mouse over the image and it will actually annotate it and show where some of these things are. So what we then see is that we can see where the Orion Belt stars are labeled, the Orion Nebula, one of the nearby star forming regions, but we can also see some of the stars, the bright stars Betelgeuse, Orion, um, Betelgeuse, Rigel, and Bellatrix within the uh, constellation of Orion, the three of the bright stars that outline the body of the hunter. So we can see those there, and we can also see that Betelgeuse is distinctly red compared to Bellatrix and Rigel. Now that is because the color of the star tells us about its temperature. So a star like Betelgeuse is about half the temperature of the sun, or maybe about 3,000 degrees, whereas stars like Rigel that are much hotter could be tens of thousands of degrees, so 15, 20,000 degrees or more, and that means that they give off far more blue an ultraviolet light which has a higher energy than the red light that Betelgeuse gives off. So one of the ways we can learn about stars is by looking at their colors and it's one way to get a quick estimate of their temperatures. Now we also see a lot of nebulosity here. That is a lot of glowing hydrogen gas that we can see. And that includes things like Barnard's Loop which stretches around uh, the Orion region. And it is a loop of material, as we can see here, and it is uh, uh, the hydrogen in it is being energized by many of these hot stars uh, and their ultraviolet radiation, which excites them and causes the hydrogen atoms to glow in the red. So the red color of the gas does not tell us about the temperature the way it does in a star. In the, in the way the color of the gas has some more to do with what its composition is. What are the materials that make it up? As each element will give off very specific wavelengths. So the, for a gas, a diffuse gas, the color will tell us something about the composition. For a star, the color tells us something about the temperature. And we get a sense of both of those in our image here today showing the Orion region. So that was our picture of the day for August the 21st of 2019. It was titled The Orion You Can Almost See. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Southern Galaxy. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.